the channel. Uh, if you've not been here before, my name is Fiona. I'm an artist and illustrator living in Scotland and this channel is my space for me to share my sketchbooks, my art processes, art related ramblings, things like that. And today we're going to be doing a sketchbook tour. So this was my main sketchbook for about a year. Um, it's a Nina Cosford sketchbook, that's the brand, I'll link them in the description. Um, I hadn't used this type of sketchbook before, this is a bit bigger than what I would normally do, but I really enjoyed the extra space, you know, really spreading out across the page with the drawings. But yeah, you can tell this has been a very well loved sketchbook because it's all fat and crinkly. I find it so satisfying when sketchbooks get like this, I love this, and it's plastered in stickers. It is full of ideas, memories, ramblings, journaling. Um, I very much use my sketchbooks just as an extension of my brain, which is what this is. So I hope you'll enjoy looking through it. Let's jump right in. Right, so as I said, it's a Nina Cosford sketchbook. Um, not spawn or anything, I just really um, am enjoying this brand, so I'll talk about it a little bit. Um, what I really like about this particular sketchbook is it's got all of the features that I like in a sketchbook. It's got um, a soft cover, so it's like it's got a little bit of flexibility to it. It's got this band around, so it stays closed in your backpack. It's got um, a pocket in the back for various crud, um, and it's got nice pages. Like the paper is um, thin and smooth, which I've talked about before. How much I like thin and smooth paper in a sketchbook. So yeah, I've been really happy with this. Um, I, I would recommend them to anyone. I think they're really good. So as for the stickers, um, I'm afraid I can't remember exactly where all of these stickers were from. So if you recognize any of these artists, um, feel free to like shout them out. Um, but this one is one of mine. I sell these in my shop. This is my little fairy frog design. And this one's also one of mine. Um, oh, I know this one. This one is... Um, Christina Bichinski, there we go. <laughs> so I recognize one of them. Um, okay, right, let's jump in. Um, so as you can see, this one was from April 2023 to April 2024. So it took me a year to fill this out. Um, and during that year, I did use, um, I'm not a monogamous sketchbook user. <laughs> I did use other sketchbooks during that time. So this isn't like a whole year of drawing, um, but this was my, my main sketchbook. Um, and I do really like to like use it as a scrapbook as well. So I've stuck in the most kind of random stickers and um, receipts and um, like packing slips and stuff like that. This is what I like to do on the first page of every sketchbook. I like to um, test out my pens and that serves two purposes. Firstly, it gets rid of the first page scaries if you know what I mean, you know when you open a brand new sketchbook and the big white page is, is, is glaring at you in an intimidating sort of way. So this at least gets rid of that first page. And it's also useful for discovering how all of my favourite pens are going to act on the new paper because stuff like fountain pens, stuff like Copics, they act very differently on different papers. So that's why I do that. And this is me. This is a little self-portrait. I like to do these little outfit of the day drawings um, every once in a while as sort of a form of journaling. Um, but yeah, this is back when I had green hair. Okay, this is the start of my like dragon era. No, it's not the start. I was drawing them before this. But this sketchbook, I just, um, I don't know, I got really into drawing dragons. Um, there are quite a few all throughout the sketchbook. They're just so fun to draw with their like long wiggly bodies um, and the fact that you can kind of do all kinds of different design elements with them because there's no established way of what a dragon looks like. I find it fun. I've drawn a whole bunch of them in here. Uh, here we have some practice of cars because um, I, I'm just not very good at drawing cars. Um, I do find myself drawn to the, the the kind of retro style where they're all sort of like rounded and sort of friendly looking as opposed to the more modern sort of sleek cars. But anyway, yeah, that was just a bit of practicing of that and some trees. These are studies of um, like Legend of Zelda NPCs. Um, at this point, Andy was playing through Breath of the Wild and I was kind of drawing and watching at the same time and I was really enjoying all of the really creative character design and costume design. So I was sketching some characters. Oh, okay, so this is when we went to Kielder. Kielder is a big forest in the UK and you know, you can camp there, you can, there's like a holiday park, you can stay in like a log cabin, which is what we did. Um, and we just like hiked for a few days and spent some time amongst nature and it was really nice. So this is like some kind of journaling about that. Yeah, more Kielder. So, um, we stayed in the edge of um, the Kielder Reservoir Lake. Another journaly type page. So that's my outfit of the day, what I'm currently reading, um, what I'm currently listening to. Some little monsters. 
Um, oh, so this was... Um, this past year I've been doing a lot more artist markets and craft fairs and stuff like that. Um, and I have managed to get absolutely loads of drawing done when I'm at these things because you do have lulls between like kind of waves of customers coming where you're just kind of stuck behind your little table and you can't go anywhere. So I like to sit and draw. So um, this was, uh, yeah, this is like a live kind of, this was my lap with the sketchbook and then this was the back of my stall as I was sitting behind it waiting for people to approach. <laughs> um, and Andy came along, he brought the dog um, and they brought me coffee, so. Some more doodles. Um, this was from the fair. Um, so let me just, yeah, it's called the Hidden Door Festival. Um, this was me just like sketching the people who are milling about. So this is a bit of like sort of like live drawing. We've got some Posca pen here. Um, Posca pen is sort of hit and miss on this paper. So I've drawn it on Bristol board here and taped it in. Posca pen loves Bristol board. It works really well on that. And we have also got um, a cafe sketch. Um, I love sitting in cafes and drawing. It's one of my absolute favorite things to do with my weekends. Um, so this was in Cult Espresso in Edinburgh. This is the little thank you slip I send out with my Etsy orders. I just thought I'd stick one in for posterity. I don't know. Some birdies. These are a reference from Pinterest, I think. Bit of pose practice. Um, oh, okay, so you might see these characters a few times in this sketchbook. Basically what's going on is um, I have an idea for a graphic novel that I want to make. Um, I'll not talk too much about it, but the setting is um, a magical coffee shop, cafe in the woods, um, ran by some witch sisters um, and it's going to be the sort of basis for... You no, know, I'm not going into the story or anything like that because I'm not sure of it in my mind yet, but um, this sketchbook was where I first started to we were thinking about what I want the characters to look like, what I wanted the setting to look like, so I'm just kind of starting to establish that. But yeah, it's gonna be like a graphic novel is such a big project, it's gonna be such a like a long ongoing thing, so don't expect any, you know, updates about that. Um, but yeah, if you recognize these characters throughout the book, that's who they are. This was sketches for um, a project that I almost did. Um, so uh, I was talking to a woman who runs a like dog accessories company and she was wanting a autumnal pattern for stuff like little neckerchiefs and things like that um, and that kind of fell apart and we ended up not doing the project but um, these are the little sketches for that. I kind of want to do something with them myself anyway because I think they're cute. Here I was trying to abstractify a forest. Um, I'm trying to think about how... I feel like I've got my illustration style really set for how I like to draw people and faces. I really know what I'm doing there but when it comes to environments I, I don't really know how to adapt them and stylize them in a way that I like. So I've done a bit of practicing of that in this sketchbook. This is some more Posca pens. This time it's on watercolor paper and I've taped that in. Capybara. Another dragon. Um, and here is a little journal page um, of when I was stuck in bed with the flu. I've got the like the switch, um, which ended up not being the flu, it ended up being COVID, so boo. That was a long time ago though. I'm all better now and everything. This was a little still life drawing of, I got Andy some sunflowers for his birthday and we had them in a vase in the living room, so I drew them. And this was, um, career-wise, I'm trying to do a little bit of postcard marketing. So I've been making postcards with my illustrations on and sending them out to publishing companies and places I'd like to work um, and just sort of introducing myself. And this one, um, so on the other side is the, the writing bit of the postcard. I think I made like a typo and scribbled it out and ruined it so I just stuck it in here. But yeah, no, that was a little digital drawing I did a while ago. Posca kitties. Another dragon. If I um, had the editing capability, it would be fun to have like a little like dragon tally counter in the corner of the screen, but um, I don't know how to do that. So <laughs> I think this is number three though. This is Posca pen. As you can see, it does work on the on the sketchbook paper. It just crinkles it a little bit. Mermaids, also Posca. I've got some gnomes here as well. So this is, um, again, referencing the, um, the witch comic. 
I want the setting, the coffee shop, to be sort of... So it's going to be set deep in the woods and I want the building to be it's kind of like higgledy piggledy cobbled together structure kind of wrapped around a tree um, so I'm just kind of sketching to think about how I want that to look this was a little doodle of um so I took Rollo that's the dog to Wales on the train um and he was such a good boy he sat really well in the little like footwell next to me on the train so yeah it's a little recording of that we went to wales to climb snowdon which is the biggest mountain in wales so um actually the dog didn't come up the mountain with us because he's too small <laughs> he's got little legs and it would be a big day for him so he stayed with my mum in the airbnb but yeah so me my dad and my sister we climbed snowdon this day um with pussy pigs and tea <laughs> it was a great day This is sketches for a mural project I was looking at for a company in Edinburgh. This was, so I read somewhere that a good way to practice your pose drawing and add a bit more fluidity to your work is to find like a dancing video on YouTube and just pause it at random frames and draw what they're doing. Um, so that's, that's what this is. This is a flyer from the Midnight Lunar Market, which is a uh, arts and crafts um, and a general sort of witchy goodies market that I often do in Edinburgh. And this is from, uh, we had a little trip to Pit Lockery up in Scotland um, and it rained the whole time. So we just hid in a pub and I drew the pub. So that's what it is. Yeah, here's doodles from um, the Midnight Lunar Market. Um, this is me at my stall and um, so there's someone who comes along pretty much every time that there's a lunar marker with um, their cat who walks on a leader really well behaved and at this point she had because um, it was Halloween she had a little bat costume on the cat it was it was ridiculously cute we've got some life drawing so this is the um, the room that we have the life drawing class in um, I don't go to this every week, I, I go to it every once in a while, but it's a life drawing class set in an old Victorian lecture theatre. So it's got this sort of amphitheatre type setting um, with these wooden banked desks going up in a semicircle sort of shape. So that works really well for life drawing, we have the model in the middle of the semicircle. Um, and yeah, I've, I've drawn this model a lot, so I thought it'd be fun to maybe take some time to spend more time on the crowd in the setting. Because I am trying to envir um, practice environments a bit more, so that's what that page was. Um, and yeah, sometimes I like to life drawing, bring along those, you know, those coloured pencils that are multicoloured um, in the, the lead, I know it's not lead, but in the lead of the pencil, there's like several colours. They're really fun to do life drawing with. Me in my overalls that I wear pretty much every day of my life. This would be my ghost outfit. If I was a ghost, I would be in dungarees. That's, I've established that. Oh, okay. So this was from Thought Bubble. Um, so I went to Thought Bubble this year, 2023, as a guest, like as, as a customer, I mean. Um, but next year, 2024, this year, I will be going as an artist. I'm going to have my own table set up at Thought Bubble, selling my prints and zines and stuff. So that's really, really exciting. Um, but yeah, so this year I went just as a visitor. Um, so this is the flyer from that. Um, I went with my sister. Um, oh, so... At this point, I drew this when we were waiting to go into a panel. There was a little sort of half an hour wait. And Heather was eating this mozzarella wrap and she like just quietly said to herself, God, I love mozzarella. <laughs> so that's what that was. I had to record that moment. And yeah, while we were watching this panel, so we watched a few. We watched Best Thing I Read All Year and this one was about web comics. Um, I just thought I'd draw the panelists and um, write down some things that stuck out that they said. These are some ideas for pin badges um i think it'd be fun to do a little series of like polaroid themed pin badges where um it's like, well, like the white back the white frame rather and inside is like some like city landmarks and then the city name i think that'll be fun this is my wristband from thought bubble as well um and here's a journal page from when we went to grasmere which is a little town in the lake district um we actually go to the lake district about once a year and just do some like hiking and spend some time in nature um, and pretty much our favourite town to go to in the Lake District is Grasmere. It's this beautiful little village, almost, I don't know if, even know if you'd call it a town. Um, and there's a pub slash hotel called The Swan, which is so lovely and cosy. So I sat and draw this in there. 
I drew this after I finished reading Wicked, so if you recognise them, that's why. So we were growing hyacinths in the garden and when we bought the hyacinth bulbs at the garden centre this flyer came with them and I had to stick it in because that is just the most joyful little hyacinth bulb illustration I've ever seen so <laughs> that's what that is. And we've got birdie, we've got some lemons, a bit more life drawing. So um, with life drawing we do different times so um, you get one minute to draw these poses you get three minutes to draw these poses, so that's why they're a bit more developed than that one. And then we do longer ones, so these were five minutes. And then this was 10 minutes and this was 20 minutes. Um, I find with life drawing, um, I've noticed I'm, I'm getting faster with drawing, which is good, but it means that in the long 20 minute poses, I get like 10, 15 minutes of the way through and I'm like, I've, I've drawn them, I'm done. Sorry, just start making things up. <laughs> so these lemons and these clouds and stars, they were not there. This was not observational drawing. I just started making things up around the model. I just thought it would make a fun sketchbook page. This was drawn with um, one of those like glass ink dip pens. Um, Andy's family got me one for Christmas uh, and it's really fun to use. It gives you these lovely like kind of juicy inky lines. So that was with a dip pen. This was from, so I've started going every once in a while to a regular artist meetup here in Edinburgh called Urban Sketches. Um, I think they run them in lots of different cities actually. There's like Urban Sketches, Manchester and London and stuff like that. And yeah, it's just um, a bunch of artists meet up um, for two hours on a Sunday and draw basically. So this one was inside a pub. So as you can see, I've tried to draw like the interior of the pub and then this is all the other artists doing their sketching. with a little environment practice. I think these were some vague pin badge ideas that I never did. And this is another cafe interior sketch in Edinburgh. I forget the name of this one, it's on the grass market. Oh, okay, so this is another Midnight Lunar Marker and this was my like outfit of the day that I drew, that I wore at the market. Um, <laughs> I'd forgotten this happened but so yeah I've got this like long kind of prairie style dress and Andy calls it my Victorian dress and I'm just going to read out what I've written here. Fun fact Andy calls this my Victorian dress and called me the yogurt ghost for walking around the flat and eating yogurt. <laughs> I'd forgotten that that's very funny. This was when we went to Amsterdam. Um, our plane was delayed, so we were sitting in Edinburgh airport for a while. So um, I was like sketching some people that I saw waiting. And then this is, you probably can't make it out very well because it's just like a pale pink pencil, but this is a drawing in a Vondel Park, a tree and a lake. This is something I like to do in my sketchbooks is um, charity shop in search of. This is my like running, shopping list for when I go charity shopping. The thing about charity shopping is you can't go into it with an idea of something specific that you want to buy because you'll never find it. It's better to just browse several charity shops over the course of months with a vague idea of several things you might be looking for and it will just pop up when the time is right. So um, because I'm a visual learner, I like to make like a little visual shopping list of all the things that I'm looking for. This one just says, code of my dreams will know when I see it. And I did find it, I did see it. I've got this lovely secondhand, um, I don't know if it's real suede or faux suede, but long dark brown coat that's fur lined and it's amazing. Um, so I did know it when I saw it. <laughs> this is me again, little outfit of the day. Once again in the dungaree overalls, you will prize these off of my cold dead legs. And we've got some Winsor Newton Pro Marker swatches as well. This day was, um, so I went to Glasgow on the train to meet my friend Kate for dinner and I got there early so I sat in a cafe and um, just drew the view out of the window. So this is Gordon Street in Glasgow. And this was another Urban Sketches meetup. So this one was in a cafe that had a view looking out onto, um, I think this might be called Cornwall Street, um, up onto the castle. So I drew that um, and a teapot because I think I had some tea that day and just a lemon, so someone brought along a lemon to the urban sketches for people to draw. But I didn't bring any yellow pens with me, so I tried to draw it in shades of pink um, to limited success. So moths, I love drawing moths. I'm just fascinated with them. 
Oh, so if you watched my lino printing video a little while ago, you'll recognize this little guy. Um, I made a, I made a really print out of this and um, yeah, you can watch that video on my profile if you're interested in seeing that. And this is a little um, made up sort of fairy tale environment in uh, alcohol markers. I love how the back of marker drawings look. They've got a really fun texture. This is another Urban Sketches meetup. This time was in Stockbridge. Uh, so the way these meetups work is everyone meets up um, and draws and after two hours everyone kind of throws their sketchbooks in the middle and everyone looks at what everyone's been doing. And you can either stay in the pub or cafe where everyone's met up or you can go off on your own and go draw outside and meet up with the group at the end. So that's what I did this time. I went and sat outside and drew. So yeah, this is in Stockbridge in Edinburgh. If you know the area, you'll probably recognise this. We've got another Posca pen environment. This is just imaginary. This wasn't reference from anything. And we've got my witch characters again, still working on those. This was an idea for a risograph print that I made. Um, it's like a little lucky waving cat that's on my shop now. And this was this was another doodle from a market that I did. So I don't know how well you can make it out, but it says um, Seb's Urban Jungle Maker's Market. So Seb's Urban Jungle is a cafe slash plant shop here in Edinburgh. So while I was sitting behind my table, I was doodling the plants that were for sale. This um, was um, this was a YouTube video that I did about drawing just straight in pen without using pencil. So if you recognize this, that's what that is. Um, yeah, I'm trying to get better at drawing faster and drawing um, with less hesitation and with more just um, conviction. So I'm trying to use pencil sketching less and less and I'm trying to go straight to pen more and more. So that's kind of what I challenge myself to do here. Just draw straight with pen, stream of consciousness kind of thing. Um, and I think it went quite well. These are some doodly ideas for um, a print that I want to do. I want to do like an artist witch character um, in sort of an Art Nouveau style with this sort of circular frame with um, art materials floating around her that she's kind of like levitating with magic. I think it would be really cool. So this is a vague idea. Um, and then that's it. I didn't actually draw anything on the last two pages of this because at this point I was just like, I'm done now, I'm done with the sketchbook. I don't know why I arbitrarily decided that, I just the vibes, the vibes were done. <laughs> so yeah, that's the end of it. Um, and yeah, I really enjoyed filling this out. I felt like I grew as an artist throughout it as well. Like if I look at the drawings on the first few pages versus the drawings at the end, I really feel like I see progression, not just in skill level, but in having a better idea of like my style and what I want to do. Um, so this was really useful for me. I love um, sketchbooking, it's such a big part of my art practice and I love looking at other people's sketchbooks too. So I hope this was interesting to you. Um, but thank you so much for watching, thank you for hanging out with me, it's been lovely to spend time with you um, and I'll see you for another video before too long. Okay, thank you, bye!